great. We're just having a really good time. Everybody is in a really good space. It's been a great experience. I've learned a lot as a musician. I respect everybody that's here playing for us. Just lovely people. Everybody's having a great time. It's just a great mix of old and new artists. Yeah. So, yeah, and we've discovered a lot of new, great new artists. To that I've had the very great honour and privilege to sing for a long time. The Dean wrote this very beautiful love song that we became known for called Even When I'm Sleeping. Hello, I'm Abby Dobson. And I'm Dean Manning and we're sitting in a tent. We're at the Blues Fest and we're in the Leonardo's Bride dressing rooms and uh, we've just done our first performance in 12 years. idea when it was the 10 year uh, mark at, um, and then everybody was like oh yeah that sounds like a good idea but no one wanted to do any do the work to make it happen so we kind of agreed that if something beautiful came along that was gorgeous and wouldn't require us to do a lot of promotion then we would do it and then our howler our drummer who's also a booking agent now as well as being a drummer he um, said, what about the Blues Fest? And we all went, well, of course we'd play at the Blues Fest. So he wrote to them and within minutes they wrote back saying, great, we'd love to have them. So we were like, oh, okay, I guess we are better rehearse. And Howler said, if you're ever going to play a festival, this is the festival to play. Then I close my eyes. We'd been together longer than the Beatles, so we deserved a break. Yeah. Thank you. Blues Fest is a festival for the senses. Every sense gets stimulated. No matter where you're going, you get the good ones and the bad ones. You get fear, you get love, you get joy, you get great tastes and ear candy. It's just the music and different artists and people, etc. Just yeah. everything. The vibe is just wonderful. The community coming together, I guess, is uh, like-minded people. King Cannons, undoubtedly. They shouldn't have been on so early. Yeah. Should have been on a bit later. They were really good. Ben Hart last night rocked the house. Santana. Yeah. Santana. Just Heap of acts, but yeah, we just found Ruthie Foster, so she's been brilliant. Pretty good. Oh. Jimmy Clare for sure. Three ponchos. I'd have to say Ben Harper and Xavier Rudd. Yeah. Oh, Santana. Oh, probably Rodriguez. And you measure for wealth by the things you can hold. Marvellous now that we're actually a break, which is this band made up of uh, Midnight Oil members, uh, Brian from the Violent Femmes playing bass and Jack uh, Howard from Hunters and Collectors playing trumpet. This kind of combination Australian band, it's marvellous that we're able to be uh, Rodriguez's band all these years later when his star is so much on the rise, uh, uh, literally after four decades, you know, of being uh, our best kept secret. The mayor has crime rate. So a woman hesitates, probably gets irate, but forgets to vote date. For when a man complaining, it took the sun, it's raining. Looking around at the audience for Rodriguez at Blues Fest this year, um, you see people of all generations, at least three generations are there. 
And what they're searching for, I think, is something real. They're looking for, um, well, Rodriguez describes himself as a musical political. And that really describes the bands that we come from. You know, we were very passionate about what we did and we wouldn't write a song unless it really affected us uh, personally. And, and uh, I think that's come back into fashion. I think there were periods when it was uncool to wear your heart on your sleeve. But I think one of the, the great uh, appeals of someone like Rodriguez is that he is, he is seen to be completely uncompromised. And, he's, and having met the man that back then and now at last travelled around with him and, and got to know him even better, he's, you know, he's certainly the real deal. Well, I'm Rhoda Roberts and I'm the new festival director for Boomerang which is a new festival coming to Byron Bay Blues site in October every year from the 4th to the 6th, 2013. And it's a celebration, a festival of world cultures, uh, mother tongues and first instruments from dance, music, film, theatre, conversations and a lot of uh, workshops and also some traditional healing. It really is about immersing yourself into this cultural experience and once you do that, it's a whole brand new world and lots of fun and a lot of people I guess don't see the comedy we have, the humour, the dance, so it's about involving people as well and it's just fantastic to be able to bring this festival back to Bundjalung country. Backstage, and I've got this beautiful guitar that I'm waiting for the artists to come down and, and sign it so we can um, raffle it off for charity. The artwork is, has been done by Gautier's girlfriend, Tash Parker. Thin Green Line Foundation is an Australian foundation that is um, that helps rangers worldwide that are, that are killed and injured um, on the front line, basically protecting animals. And um, the foundation provides training and equipment and and money for the families of these rangers that are killed and injured. So it's a really wonderful foundation. It's the only one like it in the world. So it's really important work and we're protecting the protectors of nature. Yeah, um, basically it's an Australian charity that helps out rangers all over the world. And, um Robert Blount is the main headliner of the <laughs> You went first. I haven't even asked the question. Tonight. Tonight. Oh, if anyone's ordering yes, they are playing oh, to oh, Not the answer. Oh, 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 Who was next? Judges, help me out here. Who was next? And if you hold on to all that you You seem so existent, so existent. You really need to open your heart. You really need to open your heart. My mother said, Don't believe everything you see on the TV screen. Cause the images are warped and they make you believe in nothing. Okay, my name is, I suppose, Dr. Barry Hill from the Southern Cross University Contemporary Music Program. The system 
you see behind me is powering this or the, all the audiovisual production in this new venue at the Blues Festival for 2013 called the Lotus Palace. And so it's, I suppose we can lay claim to that this is the biggest solar sound system in Australia. So this is like a community engagement project for the uni to be involved with industry partners and provide a project which is both a learning project for students and also a project for, which has a research outcome associated with it. I work in the School of Arts and Social Sciences. We're not an engineering school. We're about making interesting ways of incorporating art and creative design into alternative technologies. I think interdisciplinary research is the way to go these days in the 21st century. So artists and musicians tend to have creative ideas on the uses of technology. Two, two, check one, two. Here actually, moved here like three months ago. I'm from Rockhampton. At Melbourne. Brunswick, Brunswick Heads. Brisbane. Brisbane. WA. I'm from Yapoon. Possum Creek. From the Gold Coast. I'm from Brisbane. Possumville. Possumville. Ebarn. Gold Coast. Uh, Sydney. I'm from Wollongong. I'm from just outside Canberra. Uh, we're from Cairns. Uh, Western Australia.